guys, I've been trying to organize this video for a while now. You see the title, you know what it is. There's so much to it that I'm just going to go for it. Uh, if it's a little unorganized, I apologize, but let me start off by introducing myself for those of you that don't know, because we got a lot of new subs recently. My name is Tanner Fox, or Tanner J. Fox, since someone else already has my name. But I am a 21-year-old entrepreneur. Um, I do multiple things online. I started my journey about two years ago, and that's what I'm going to be telling you about today. Uh, kind of my steps through it, how I progressed, what I was doing, uh, what the numbers looked like, and just give you an overview of it since a lot of you have asked for that. So again, I apologize if it's all over the place, but I'm going to do my best. Um, on the screen now, I just have proof um, just because everyone's going to ask a hundred times, where's your proof? I don't see it. Like, you can't do that. So right in the middle, Amazon sales for one day. Uh, on the left is my course. So one day right here, you can see we already made 11000 so far today. And then affiliate marketing, um, this is for like three months up here, this number. But let me get rid of those. Oh, I also have a second course right here. But let me get rid of those. That's just for those that don't believe. And they still won't anyway. But let's jump into this. So we're going to start. I have pictures for some of these. So let me get one of them up for you. So when I was about, how old was I? I was 20 when I started, no, I was 19 and a half when I started learning um, different things online. I was looking up ways to make money online. I was bored. I had just graduated from community college. So let me grab this right here. I was 20. I was bored. Uh, didn't have that many friends. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I was going to a four year. So I was going to Cal State Fullerton and I wanted something to do over summer. I wanted to learn to make money. I didn't like the nine to fives. I worked a couple of them, not nine to five, sorry. Uh, just regular jobs, working at the front desk of a gym, personal trainer, different things like that. I delivered pizzas. Um, they're okay, I didn't like them. I knew I wanted to do something entrepreneurial. So I started researching stuff online a lot and I found something called fulfillment by Amazon or you sell things on Amazon. And that was really what I got into. Uh, I started learning it in November of 2015 so almost two years ago and I really started learning and learning and probably spent two months learning it and then I just jumped right in I was like you know what I can wait to start a product try and learn more but I'm gonna learn more by doing it so at this time I wasn't working I was just going to school I had probably two thousand dollars in my bank account and my first order was fourteen hundred dollars so it was a big jump. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about when I say selling on Amazon, you pretty much find products that sell well, you source them in China, you create a listing, you send them into Amazon, you make a listing, do the marketing for it, get it ranked. And then when you get sales, Amazon ships it out for you and it's pretty passive. So it's just fine the product starts. So I started doing that. Um, I jumped right in. So I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I took a course on it that was like $300. And I started selling. And my first product, of course, was a complete failure. Not complete. Uh, I didn't lose money. It sold very slowly. So my goal was to sell 10 a day at $10 profit. So 100 a day, and I was selling two or three. So I slowly sold out. I probably made $1,000 in two or three months. And then I went to the next product. I was like, all right, that one didn't work. I got a little discouraged. I was like, you know what, I'll just start another one. Still didn't really know what I was looking for. So that first one was too competitive. I was selling camping hammocks, so it was way too competitive. So I jumped into one that was the complete opposite. It was no competition, but barely any sales. And that was these little LED light up slap bracelets. And they're both cheap products because that's all I could afford. And those sold even worse um, than the hammocks. It took me two months to sell out of 150 of them. And the only reason I sold out that fast was because I had one person order like 60 of them in one day. I was freaking out that day because that's the most I've ever seen. But again, we didn't lose money there. We made probably $100 profit. But again, another failure. So I've been doing this for five months now at this point. I've had two products that failed. I've wasted five months learning, doing all this work, and risking money. And I was like, oh, this is stupid. I found a new tool I started using. I was starting to make a little more sense. I was like, okay, this makes a little bit of sense. Let me start another product. Started another one called a faucet extender, and it started selling well. I was selling seven a day, five dollars profit, so I was making almost a thousand a month here. So, as you can see on this board, my revenue 
Now the reason December was so high is because it's December, so you can see on this board right here, this is me hanging my whiteboard, as you guys know I'm famous for, the whiteboards. But you can see on this mini one I used to write on there, 2,600 revenue, so about 1,000 profit off that. So that's right where I was in January when I started that product. And then it turns out it's patented because I didn't know that you had to look for patents on Amazon. I thought Amazon wouldn't let you sell them. But it was just me not knowing. So I, again, product number three, selling well, boom, it's gone now. Complete failure. Not complete failure. I keep saying that. Another failed product. So three failed products in a six-month time frame almost. We'll say five months. You think most people would have given up then? I was like, all right, I don't have anything to lose. I'll do one more. This is the last one I'm going to do. If it doesn't sell well, I'll find something else to do. Uh, because what I really noticed was other people are doing it, and it works. So if I'm doing it, it's not working. It's my own fault. I'm doing something wrong. So I figured out what I was doing wrong, and I started looking into spending a lot more time on product research, figuring out what sells well. And lo and behold, in April, no, in May of 2016, I started a new product and it took off. Uh, first day I sold like 10, second day I sold 40 and so on and it jumped all the way up. That month I made $8,000. Now that was insane. I've never made more than like 1500 in a month up until then. And that was crazy. And you know what I did right away, which probably wasn't the smartest, but my goal this entire time was to get a Corvette Stingray. And I thought it would be a long time. My original goal, I had written down, was to make 4,000 profit a month by the end of the year, so December of 2016. So what did I do? I was like, oh, I'm making 8,000 a month now, I'm gonna go look at cars. So I looked online and I didn't realize how hard it is to get a car loan when you're self-employed and don't have two years self-employment history. So uh, I waited another month or two, kept looking, kept looking, and keep in mind, my main goal since I was like 17 was I wanted a Lamborghini. Um, I never thought, I thought, okay, I can get a used Lamborghini Gallardo in maybe two or three years if I work decent and make 10000 a month. I had it all planned out how much I could scrape by with to have a Lambo and whatnot. And you know, when I was 17, I'd say, oh, I'm going to have a Lamborghini before I'm 25. And people would be like, how? And I'd be like, I don't know, but I will. And they're like, oh, okay. But I've been saying that forever, so I just went with it. I didn't believe it myself half the time, but deep down, if you keep saying it, you kind of believe it. So yeah, let's fast forward to July of 2016, I was doing, so my product went from 8,000 a month to 12,000 to 15, all the way, started a second product, and got up to 20,000 a month, and on July 1st of 2016, I bought a Corvette Stingray, it was about $50,000 I believe, put 15 down, financed the rest, and I was stoked because that was my like dream car, and Things were going great. Uh, I've been selling well for three months. And then fast forward another two months. We're going to fast forward through these because it's about the same. It's just sitting on a product. I started another new one. So I had three at this point and I upgraded. You guys probably can't even tell the difference, but I went from a Corvette Stingray to a Corvette Z06. Pretty big difference. They look almost the same, but um, $50,000 car to almost $100,000 car. I got this one for 70 used though. Um, still pretty good. And let's just say, what are we here? Let's just say we're in, when did I buy this? Uh, July, August, I bought this one September 1st, 2016, so I only kept the other one. At this point, I was making a little over 20000 a month here, and I was stoked. I was saving my the rest. I put a little into this car, and I was just saving. My next goal is to be buying a house. And then in October of 2016, uh, a big problem hit. So the way I used to rank products was giving a ton of products away in exchange for reviews, and that's how I would get reviews, so that's how I would rank my product. And Amazon changed the rule on that, and everyone freaked out, because that's what most people did. And I almost stopped selling, I almost gave up. My other product was still there, but I'm like, crap, Amazon's dead now. I need to go find some other way to make money. I'll sit on this product until it runs out, and so on. And for about a month or two, I was like kind of depressed. I didn't know what to do started looking at other things, and up at, a couple months before this, I was starting to learn um, other things because I was working less than an hour a day here. Amazon doesn't take a lot of time. So I started learning affiliate marketing. Now, I never acted on it until later, but started learning probably in October of 2016 and just learned a ton. 
but everyone was freaking out at this point in November. I was like, crap, what do I do? That's like all my money. Like I have enough saved up to make payments on the car and whatnot, but how am I going to make money? This is like my freedom. And now at this point, I was trying to convince my parents to let me drop out because I am, I was going to Cal State Fullerton at this time, uh, my four year, I was doing business entrepreneurship, not learning anything, skipping classes all the time, barely going. But we'll talk about that later. So I started learning affiliate marketing more and looked into that. But then I thought, wait, there's got to be a way to do this other than the same way I was doing with Amazon before where I had to give away the product. So I found a new strategy after two months of sitting and complaining about it. I went and fixed it and figured out a new way, launched a new product and boom, I was making 30,000 a month in January of 2017. So now we're getting close. So in 2017, I was making close, probably 25, 30,000 profit a month from Amazon alone. I was learning affiliate marketing and then I started talking to a guy named Ryan Hildreth. Let me move my face for you guys. Who has a YouTube channel. And he brought me on his YouTube channel. And this is where everything changes. Now, he convinced me to do YouTube. I did not want to do YouTube. I felt super awkward. Uh, it's weird talking to the camera. I never felt comfortable. Uh, I knew the potential YouTube had and I wanted to do it. I just was too nervous to do it. And he made me do a video with him. A um, little background, we met in college at a math class, uh, which I didn't pass, so that was fun. But we met in college, funny enough. So we made a video and then it got a good response and people convinced me to start my channel, which I then did in February of 2017. Keep in mind, Amazon money is still the same, still learning affiliate marketing. I was looking into building a social media marketing agency. I started that for a little, <clears throat> but hated it. So I stopped after a month and then I started my YouTube channel. And right away, I jumped up to 500 subs because Ryan gave me a shout out and all the people wanted to learn. And then straight from then, I was making kind of free content on YouTube, uh, how to sell on Amazon, whatnot. And I got asked so many times to make a course. So I was like, oh, okay, um, I can make one. I don't know how, I've never done it, but I'll try. And then I made a course teaching exactly what I do. <clears throat> First link in the description. But I made a course and I launched it when I had 800 subscribers on February 22nd. And my goal, I was gonna be stoked if I sold 40 of them. I was like, dude, 20 grand in like a month? Dude, that's gonna be crazy. But I was like, people aren't gonna buy it. It's too much money, like who would buy it? And I was like, wait, I bought a course at that price and it changed my life, so maybe people will. Um, so I launched it and first day made $14,000, which was insane. And then it slowly built up. I was making two or 3,000 a day. I was like, dang, when is this gonna go down? Like, this is just the hype, right? And then I started posting more videos on YouTube, being more active. I do daily posts now. And people started liking it more and more. And as my subscribers grew, the course grew. And because everyone was seeing the success my students were having in there, because I have students who are making 30,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 2,000 a month. I have thousands of people just selling and making money now. And it's insane. And people started seeing that. So more and more people want to take the course. And about four months ago, I have people, I started starting to make $10,000 a day from this course. And I was like, this is a joke, right? Like, when is it going to slow down? So I was like, ah, it's just going to be like a month. And then it did it next month and the next month and the next month. And I was like, what? So in May, not May, in March, March 1st, March, March 1st, two months after the course came out and I was doing 300,000 a month, I bought my dream car, which most of you will know if you follow me. The Lamborghini, hold on, my face is way too big. The Lamborghini Huracan. Now, for those that wanna know, I got this used with 5,000 miles, fully loaded for 205,000. I had to put a hundred and thirty five thousand dollars down and finance the rest because that's all I could get financing for it took me two months to get financing um, just because of my I have a good credit score my credit score was like 750 but the issue is the two-year self-employment thing but 
I was able to get this. My monthly payment's like sixteen hundred. Um, no, I didn't have a cosigner or anything, but I was stoked. I got my dream car. I was making an insane amount, which I never thought. My goal for this year was to make three hundred thousand dollars, and we've already broke a million this year. But it was crazy, and I bought my dream car when I was twenty one, still here. And then after that, I was like, you can't daily a Huracan, even though I do mainly. So two months after that, I bought a Raptor. Now, I don't want to turn this into a car video. It's not supposed to be that. So we'll stop talking about cars. But it was just crazy how fast things changed. Now, my Amazon was still staying consistent at this time. I haven't been focusing too much on it. I've really been focusing on YouTube and whatnot. Now, let's fast forward to about a month ago. I started, or not a month ago, let's just go back to February of 2017. I started really focusing on affiliate marketing, starting it. First month, I made $1,000 doing affiliate marketing. I was like, okay, not bad for first month. Let's grow this a ton. The next month, I made 9000 doing it. I was like, okay, this has some potential. The next month after that, fifteen, And then in May, I made almost $19,000 doing affiliate marketing. And as happened with the Amazon thing, I was sharing this on my YouTube, kind of what I was doing, and people were like, make a course. I was like, you guys want a course on anything? Okay. So I made a course with Ryan Hildreth, the guy who started me on his YouTube channel, which many of you know, and we just started building that because he does affiliate marketing as well. He's made, I think, over 100000 in a couple months doing it. So we made a course on that, launched it, and I mean, affiliate marketing has been going great, Amazon's been going great, the course has been going great. And YouTube's been going great. Those are my main sources of income. But really, so this year already, you can see the whiteboard. Don't mind my fifth grade writing. But we've already broken a million in profit for this year. And it hasn't even been six full months yet. It's insane. Um, I would have never imagined at 21 that this was possible. Uh, it still feels really weird. I don't know. I don't think it ever feels real. Because it just, it just feels like numbers. It doesn't feel like actual, like... It's very strange, but I mean, I don't know what to say. It's crazy how fast things can change. Um, if I have like any advice for anyone, it's start looking. You start to see all the new opportunities that are out there. Once you find one, you can see like, oh, there's like seven new things I could do now. Or so when I was first looking, I was like, I don't know what to do. There's like, I can't find any ways that look cool to like make money online. And I started one, and now I see like, okay, I can make money like a hundred different ways. Which one's best? There's too many now, and I don't know exactly what to go after. But uh, if I have advice for you guys, take risks when you're young. Calculated risks. Don't be stupid. But financial risks you can bear when you're young. So don't wait to do things. Find one thing, get really good at it, and just keep going with it, and then slowly diversify. But make sure you're making enough. Don't diversify once you make like two or three thousand. You're like, all right, I'm gonna do this. Grow it a ton, and then slowly branch out. But don't let your first thing suffer. Um, other than that, I mean, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, it's kind of random video. I wanted a video from like zero to a million, but I started less than two years ago with fourteen hundred dollars, and I've turned that now into over a million, and. It's insane what you can do from home. Uh, I probably work three or four hours a day. I've never really worked more than that. Sometimes when you're building the course, it takes time, but it's just insane what you can do. Um, my future plans right now, I'm working on a whole new project, which I can't talk about yet. I've mentioned a couple times. I am working on, I just bought a house, so should be moving in soon, it's being built. And I'm also working with someone else right now, which you guys will see soon on a project. But there's big things to come. I hope you guys stick around. I hope you find some value in my channel. If you've not already, if you stuck around this long, please subscribe. I post videos daily, most of them about entrepreneurship, passive income, and different ways to do it. I also am planning on getting into real estate here soon and just sharing my journey along the way with you guys. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you want any certain type of videos, let me know, and I will see you guys tomorrow.